I love John Gruden finally putting some respect on Derek Carr's name. Frankly, I often feel like I show more respect and appreciation of Derek Carr than the Raiders head coach. And make no mistake, Derek Carr has earned it. Derek Carr is a great player. Derek Carr is a franchise quarterback. Now, there are different levels of franchise quarterbacks. And, you know, Derek Carr is not Patrick Mahomes or Aaron Rodgers, but he's a gem. There are two types of teams in the NFL, those that have a quarterback and those that don't. And the Raiders most certainly do. And you should appreciate him. And really, when I say appreciate him, I'm talking to John Gruden, who always seems to have a wandering eye when it comes to the quarterback. And listen, I'm not talking about the Aaron Rodgers trade rumors. That That's different. That's Aaron Rodgers. I'm talking about the draft or Marcus Mariota. Derek Carr has had three straight seasons of throwing over 4,000 yards passing in terms of the yards while also completing 67% of his passes. Now, this is a rare offseason where I'm not high on the Raiders. Gruden and Mike Mayock botching the first round is an annual trend. It makes it very difficult to believe. They also gutted the rock-solid strength of the team, the offensive line, which means that the Raiders are going to struggle and Carr Rungley is going to get the blame and it's sad. They say all oh, politics are local. And the Carr disrespect has always started within. Derek Carr has always, always deserved better. I love the passion. I love the word choice from Frank Reich describing Carson Wentz. He cringes when he hears anyone ask if Carson Wentz is fixable. He stands up for his guys. And that's the beauty of this situation for the Indianapolis Colts. Carson Wentz is a newbie to the team, but he's already one of Frank Reich's guys. They worked brilliantly together in 2017 in Philly. Wentz was in round to getting my vote and winning the MVP. You don't have to guess or speculate how this head coach and play caller is going to mess with the quarterback. We know we have a body of work. Now, we also know Wentz was available via trade because you could argue that he was the worst quarterback in the league last year. I don't care. Frank Reich is the right guy at the right time. Let's be honest here. Carson Wentz was absolutely spooked and rocked mentally. The Jalen Hurts pick did him in. Reich gives him confidence in addition to putting him in position to be successful. The culture loaded. Quentin Nelson, best offensive lineman in the game. Jonathan Taylor is a stud. Colts have a couple of big time and strong wide receivers and an elite defense. Maybe the best defense in the NFL this year. I think the Carson Wentz trade puts him over the top in the division. Indy beats out Tennessee, wins the AFC South. And that's the beauty of this Frank Reich and Carson Wentz relationship and Frank Reich's ability to get Carson Wentz to play at an MVP level once again. The NBA playing tournament starts tonight, and I'm pumped. But if you're a Celtics fan, you have to be disgusted. You have to be livid. You have to actually face Russell Westbrook and Bradley Beal and the piping hot Wizards to get into the playoffs. Celtics are a total mess, a joke, an underachieving dumpster fire. I think this game's going to be great. I think it's going to be close. I think it's a legit pick em. But give me Washington to win because they've been hot and Russ is great and Bradley Beal pumped in 25 with a bad hammy on Sunday. And the Celtics are frauds. 36-36 frauds. They've lost 10 of the last 15. Jalen Brown's out for the year. And it's not about any of that. It's about Danny Ainge wasting a golden opportunity to make the NBA Finals and win championships. Plural. Celtics fan has to be sick that Brooklyn's closer to a title after the Garnett and Pierce all-time trade heist. Celtics fan has to be sick. Philly is the one seed after the Tatum and Fultz draft trade and heist. It's all because Danny Ainge had all these picks and he punted. He punted. He needed stars, not warm bodies. And we first guessed this forever on Time to Shine. Celtics draft since 2016 have been flat out embarrassing. They had three first round picks in 2019. We begged them, trade for stars. At the very least, trade up in the drafts and get a, a signature player. You don't need three cats. Makes no sense. Trade for AD, trade for Harden, among others. Instead, they drafted Romeo Langford and Grant 
Williams, and Matisse Steibel. They reached on Robert Williams the year before. I mean, none of those four players averaged more than 5.7 points per game. Steibel isn't even on the team anymore. Kyrie proved to be a disaster. They got nothing for him. Gordon Hayward left. They should have made the finals last year in the bubble. They didn't. It was a waste. And understand, understand, Brad Stevens deserves heat, right? I'm not absolving him from blame. He's the coach, but he's at the bottom of the barrel in terms of blame. Starts with Danny H. He was given golden lottery tickets to win. He made the trades, but those trades required more trades. That's the anatomy of a flat-out waste of time.